In this video, I'm going to show you the best way of tying elastic bracelets. I've got my beads already on some stretchy cord elastic. The first thing I do is just pre-stretch my elastic, pulling it out from both ends. Now, holding our ends upright, we're going to lay the left-hand side over the top of the right-hand side. Now we're going to bring this top cord around the right hand side two times to form a nice little twist there. Now we're doing the opposite, so this time we lay the right side cord on top of the left and then bring this top cord around the left side two times to make another twist for this top half of the knot. So you should have two twists, one on the top and one on the bottom and a little sort of space in the middle. Now if we just pulled it tight like this, it would pull the top and bottom of the knot together and could actually leave your bracelet quite loose. So I place my knotting tool down in this square in between the two twists. You could use a pen or a toothpick or something smallish just to give that tension on the middle so your knot doesn't pull tight on itself. Now I'm going to pull both ends of the elastic. So I'm pulling the knot down onto the bracelet, not just pulling it down onto itself. You're just working with your elastic to pull it down and it's pulling your bracelet nice and tight as well. Then you can take your little toothpick out and pull the knot down nice and tight. So now we need to pull it tight from all different directions. You want to tug on the ends and then on the bracelet side of the knot as well. Putting tension on the knot and sort of pulsing the tension so that the elastic will pull through the knot a little bit. Take your time working this knot nice and tight. Lots of little bits of pressure on that knot are what's going to help to pull it tight and keep it nice and secure. You should be able to see if your elastic knot is staying tight or if it's still popping open when you pull on the bracelet. But if it's staying tight and you're happy with it, then I like to pop a little bit of jewelry glue onto the knot to help it stay nice and secure. Holding those beads open and just popping the glue onto the knot, this knot should stay secure without the glue as long as you've pulled it nice and tight. I just feel a little bit better if it has glue on there as well. Now I cut the tails nice and short and then pull the knot under one of the little beads and that keeps that knot hidden and helps it to stay nice and secure. Now I leave this bracelet for at least 12 hours to dry before wearing it. And don't forget to roll your bracelets over your wrist instead of stretching them over. 